So guys, we're back with another video. It's been weeks and weeks and weeks, but this Wednesday, the lockdown was relaxed and we were allowed to go fishing again. So my plan was to go out yesterday on Friday out in the boat. It was going to be beautiful. It was going to be lovely. We're going to make a great video. We're going to catch loads of fish and it didn't happen. I had a series of things that went wrong throughout the day. The boat didn't blow up properly and the wheels that I got for it. I've got everything in preparation with this lovely picture of it's all going to be perfect and smooth. And um, it just didn't work out that way, so it was really disappointing. Um, I did eventually get out for a couple of hours and caught a few small bass, but when I did eventually get out, I was so stressed. I just wanted to relax and chill and fish for a few hours without the pressure of cameras and things. So um, I didn't get any footage of the actual fishing itself, but I did get some good overhead footage of Hillsy Creek and the M275 bridge. So have a little look at this and then I'll come back. So yeah, that was some lovely footage. I'm just out in the lean-to at the moment, sorting out my fishing stuff, because yesterday was cut short. I did come home with a bit of bait. So I've got probably three quarters of a pound of ragworm, um, about 20 crabs. They're hardback crabs. I didn't get any peelers yesterday, but I've got hardbacks, which are smooth hounds like. There's loads of smooth hounds around at the moment. I think that's the mainstay of what's being caught on the beaches at the moment. And I've just had a look through the freezer, and I've got some mackerel, some squid, some bluey, I've got some sandal. I've got all sorts of bait to use. I'm just waiting to hear from the wife to find out what time she's going to be home as to whether I can actually go tonight or not. If I can't get out tonight, then I'll probably go Monday or Tuesday evening because I've got those evenings free as well. And the tides are a little bit later as well, so I can go later. But I don't know. If she comes back late tonight, I might be able to get out at high tide and fish the tide down because I don't really think it matters too much with these smooth outs. I think they're there all tied long. Um, we'll find out anyway. So I'm just going to go through these baits, sort out what I've got, sort out my tackle, because it's been a long time since I went, and yesterday I just grabbed the bare essentials to go out of the boat, just some spinning rods, little reels, and fish with basic running ledges. So I need to have a look at the state of the rigs that I've got made up, um, and work out whether I need to make any new rigs or not. Um, so I'm gonna do all of that now, and I'll probably speak to you a little bit later when I'm in the car and ready to go, if we go, fingers crossed. So guys, at long last, we're back on the beach. Silly o'clock, I think we got up about half past three. And it's just after four now, and I'm down on the beach. Mark got here before me, he's already fishing. Uh, it feels good to be back on the beach, it really does. I've got one rod out at the moment. And uh, I'm just gonna set up another one and get it out. The sun's just about to start rising over that side. I'll see if I can get a little bit of time out of that. That's gonna be quite pretty. And I've got a crab on that rod, and I'm probably going to put another crab rod out. And I might put a little scratching rod out because I've got some ragworm as well. But yeah, there's nobody on the beach at the moment. Well, actually, I think there might be someone a bit further down that way towards the pier. But it's really desolate. Lovely time in the morning to be out. It's quite mild. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Let's see if we can catch fish.
So I've had a little bit of a mare this morning. Um, the first rod that I put out, because the tide was pulling quite a lot from right to left, it got pulled into a snag and I lost all my gear, so I've just had to put a new shock leader on, make up a new rig and everything. But I've um, got the two crab rods back out fishing again now and I've set up another little rod with a little wishbone. You see that in the sunlight, a little wishbone, a little sliding wishbone. A couple of ragworms, size one hooks, a few little beads, a little bit of bling. Maybe a place for a flounder or something, something around out there, but one of them rods you just need to have out there. So it's a beautiful morning, as you can see. Absolutely stunning. Lovely to be out fishing. Lovely to be out fishing with Mark again. He's not seen him for so long. There's lots of people actually I want to go fishing with. I haven't been out with for a very long time. But this is a little opportunist session. I was hoping to go last night, but it just didn't happen. And then when I looked at the times and the tides, I just thought if I get up really, really early, I could do it. So they set the alarm for half past three. Up, uh, all the stuff was sorted out last night. It was in the dining room, so I literally had to just load it all into the back of the car, make a flask of coffee, and off. But yeah, a bit quiet at the moment. It's still early in the tide, though. I don't know what time it is, to be honest. The phone's still in the drone. Um, it's 5.53, it's six o'clock. I think we've got about three hours yet until I tide, so we've got the best of it. Daylight as well, which I think could be good for the smooth hounds, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. If it doesn't happen, then there's going to be next time. I've got Monday and Tuesday evenings, I believe, that I could do a bit of fishing. So, see how it pans out. I've got a feeling I'm going to squeeze quite a bit of fishing in over the next few weeks. I want to get out carp fishing. I've just got my membership through for the moat. So that's on the cards again now. Maybe a Friday afternoon for that one. So fish the moat. Get out in the boat. God, it's really rhyming today, isn't it? The phone's on the drone. Sorry. Yeah, just chilled. Sun's coming up now. There's no people around. Life is rosy. So it's 8 o'clock now, a couple of hours since the last boat here. And the reason you haven't seen much is because there hasn't been much going on to be honest. As much as it's a lovely day, it's such a lovely day to be out, and there's a few people starting to come out now. A few anglers, a few swimmers, there's a few people out on paddle boards. It's quite pleasant. But the fishing, I'm not going to flower it up. It's rubbish. 
crabs, I've got squid and mackerel cocktail out, a wrap. I've, I've had a rolled out with ragworm, which hasn't been touched. Crabs aren't being touched. The tide's really ripping. Yeah, I'm having a right old moan. It's nice to be out. It just would have been nice to have a fish on camera for the first video back after lockdown. But that's fishing. The rods are out there. I've still got another couple of hours. I've got about two hours left. I've got to start packing up about 10 o'clock. So a couple of hours. What might happen? In it to win it. Anyway. So it's half eight now. And I've had a little bit of a problem with the tide flow. Um, I'm using five ounce leads, but still I can't get them to stick in, not at the distance that I've been fishing. And since I've been here, because I think the rig is traveling, it's just traveling until it finds a snag. And three times now I've got snagged up and lost all my gear and had to re-tackle up, which is slightly annoying. Um, so what I've decided to do now is chuck them in short. What, right, mate? Ah! Oh. Top hand, thank you. Sharp ones. Sharp ones. Presents from Mark. Baiting needles. If you want baiting needles, he makes these. They're fantastic. Find him on Facebook, send him a message, have a chat. Incredible. But yeah, as I was saying, the, uh, the ragworm rod, which isn't fishing out very far, probably about 30 yards. I haven't had too much of a problem with that one with drifting. But the other rods that are out maybe sort of 70, 80 yards ish I don't know how crap at judging they're really really ripping so what I've done now is all three rods are fishing about 30 yards out and so far touch wood they're staying put I can't, when I cast out last I let the lead hit the water and I sort of felt it down until it hit the bottom and there's a decent bit of depth out there it's not shallow definitely deep enough for smooth hounds to be and the other thing I've noticed is that the ragworm rod, even though I haven't caught anything yet, I have been bringing it in and it's been nibbled. I've got a feeling the crabs have been nibbling it. So if there's crabs at 30 yards out, there's a good chance that smooth hounds are going to come in that close as well to feed on the crabs. I'm doing loads of thinking here. I've got about an hour and a half. So if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, I'm definitely going to get out Monday or Tuesday evening. I've got bluey, squid, mackerel, I've got all sorts of bait in the freezer. So I can come down and just fish. I mean, I come down with a bucket of crabs today, hoping to catch some smooth hounds. The way it's been fishing, it's a case of we're going to go down and how many are we going to catch, but it just hasn't been that way. But we'll keep plugging away. But yeah, seriously, bait your needles. Have a shout, Mark. So it's just gone nine o'clock, it's around high tide now, and me and Mark have both come to the conclusion that this is absolutely rubbish. <laughs> it's a bit of a waste of time. It's lovely down there, but it's getting that time in the morning now where more and more people are turning up. There's paddleboarders out there, there's swimmers out there, there's people with dogs, there's anglers, there's loads of people. It's getting, it's getting busy, it's, it's a busy place to be now. We fished it up from low, all the way up to the top of the tide, and we haven't had a well, bait. Mark had a dogfish early on, but apart from that, that was in darkness as well, on squid. But um, apart from that, I can't say I've actually had a bite. Sometimes I've been reeling in a ragworm and it's been completely intact. Other times it's been nibbled by the crabs. But no, not, just not going to be the one today. As I said before, we've definitely got Monday or Tuesday, possibly both. We'll have to see how it pans out. Probably going to fish more general baits there, probably ray baits. You know, I've got some squid, I've got some sand hills and some bluey and mackerel in the freezer. So I can get some of that stuff out and fish. Just generally for anything, really. But I'm going to wind these in now, have a slow pack down and get myself home. So thanks a lot for watching. Sorry there wasn't any fish, but there you go, you can't catch
chewing time. And I'll see you in the next one. Take long, guys.